So let me show you how temporary tables work in MariaDB. Let's connect to the server and we can create a table like this, right? Create table T and it's going to have one column of type integer. And uh, obviously the table is going to be there even if we exit the, uh, the client. So when I reconnect and show the tables, we're going to see the table T there. Yeah, well, uh, this shouldn't be a surprise, right? Um, let's drop that table. And let's create a new temporary table. Let's do the same. Now we show tables. Show tables. It's there. We can insert uh, data there. But if I exit this client and reconnect, then do a show tables. T is not there. So the table disappeared. The table is only valid uh, during the session. For the session in which it was created, then it disappears. So that's where a temporary table is. Uh, don't confuse this with uh, temporal ta tables, which is like for uh, storing all the history of the table. That's another topic. This is um, different. Um, and it's pretty cool because you can use it to uh, move data or you can combine with other features in MariaDB. For example, you can see that we have a table called products right there. We can create a temporary table. Let's call it T as well, like products. And so if I describe, let's describe products first. Then we see these uh, columns and T is exactly the same, right? So it uses the same schema, except that this one is a temporary uh, table. Now we can insert data into that table because right now if we select all uh, columns uh, from T, there's nothing there, but I have placed some, I have inserted something in products. So we can copy this data to uh, T and we can use, uh, you know, you can, filtering or anything that uh, SQL allows us uh, to do. Let's say we want to uh, copy only the uh, products that have uh, zero in the code. Okay, so let's do insert into T, select all columns from products where code like, let's say anything, then a zero, anything just like that. Select all columns from, from T. And we see that worked, uh, so that's pretty cool. This is useful when if when you have to move data from, uh, uh, you know, one place to another, and you want to transform data or something like that. You know, something that's temporary. We are not interested in keeping this in disk. This is very useful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to learn next, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>